Hi, hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Myself, Akshay, studying in Sri Venkateshwar College of Engineering in the branch of CSC. So, today I am going to discuss about bubble sort. So, this video is made only for my college assignment purpose. Let's move on to the video. So, introduction to bubble sort. Bubble sort is a simple sorting algorithm that repeatedly step throughout a list, compress adjacent element and swap them if they are in the wrong order. It continues irritating throughout the list until the entire array is sorted. So here, bubble sort is a simple sorting algorithm. So it will repeatedly steps throughout the list and compares a adjacent element and it will swap them if they are the wrong order and it continues the iterations throughout the list until the entire array is sorted okay so here i'm we are going to discuss about understanding the bubble sort algorithm so in three step we can understand the bubble sort algorithm the first one is compare and the second one is swap and the third one is iterate so in compare step we are going to compare adjacent elements in second swap step we are going to swap if the if they are in wrong order in third step we are going to we are going to learn that the iterate will repeat until the entire list is sorted so the key steps of the bubble sort algorithm are first is comparing adjacent element swap second one is swap them if they are in the wrong order third one is repeat repeat this program or process until the entire list is sorted it is a simple approach gradually bubbles up the largest element to the end of the list with each pass so here I'm going to discuss about time complexity of the bubble sort. So maybe majority of you know about what is time complexity of the bubble sort. So the bubble sort has a well known time complexity that varies depending on the input data. Let's explore the different scenario and the or and the corresponding time complexities. So I'm going to discuss about the first case which is best case scenario and we, we also call it as O so okay, it is we can read it as O of N the best case scenario so in the best case scenario the input list is already sorted the input list is already sorted and the bubble sort algorithm requires only a single place to the data the bubble sort algorithm requires a single pa single pass toward the data only single pass toward the data this result in a time complexity of o of n making it one of the most efficient sorting algorithm for already sorted inputs so the second step is or the second scenario is average case scenario so we can read it so the second scenario is average case scenario so it is called as o of n to the power 2 so in average case scenario in the average case the input list in the random order the input list in the random order the bubble sort algorithm will perform full step of comparison and swap on each pass toward the data it will compare it will compare and swap on each pass of the data this result in time complexity of o of n to the power 2 making it less efficient for largest unsorted database so the third step is what or the third scenario is worst case scenario so we can read it as o of n to the power 2 so in the worst case scenario the input sorry the input list is reversed order requiring the bubble sort algorithm to perform the maximum number of comparisons and on each base 
This result in the time complexity of O of n to the power 2 making it less efficient making it less efficient for large order data sets okay so the next step you're going to discuss is optimizing bubble sort so with the optimizing bubble sort the first step is early termination so in early termination it implement a flag to track if any swaps occur during a pause if no swaps happened the list is sorted and the algorithm can be terminated early the second step is adaptive store uh, sorry adaptive sorting modifying the algorithm to detect if the list is nearly sorted and switch to a more efficient sorting method like insertion sort and the third step is concurrent processing so in concurrent processing the leverage parallel processing to compare as swap elements simultaneously reducing the overall runtime so now i am going to discuss about advantages and disadvantages of bubble sort so if you know something about advantages and disadvantages so drop down a comment in the comment box so advantages and disadvantages of the bubble sort the bubble sort is a simple and intuitive sorting algorithm but it has both advantages and disadvantages to so consider when choosing the right sorting method for a given problem so comparison comparison with other sorting algorithms so while bubble sort is a simple and intuitive algorithm it is generally less efficient than more advanced sorting methods especially for large database let's explore how it compares to some popular alternative algorithms so i have discussed all the topics so i'm now now i'm going to discuss the conclusion and the key takeaways so in the conclusion so i'm going to discuss about little summary and the key takeaways what now in there in the bubble sort so in summary bubble sort is a simple intuitive sorting algorithm as we discussed before the bubble sort is a simple and intuitive sorting algorithm with a well understood time complexity the bubble sort is a well understood time complexity while it may not be the most efficient optional for a large or unsorted database so bubble sort is not efficient option for large or unsorted data data sets and it remains a valuable tool in certain scenarios especially when dealing with small or nearly sorted inputs so this is a topic i have discussed bubble sort so thank you for watching guys please like share subscribe see you in the next video